Guys, welcome to the video. So I thought with the annual SMS power coding competition underway and with the entrance in for 2023, I wanted to go back and show you guys all of the previous winners. So <clears throat> this competition uh, back on the 20th of March 2002, Bok announced SMS Power would be holding an SMS Power rush coding competition. There were many entrants, but a lot of them overran the deadline and it took a while for them to all be accounted for and, and whatnot. There were no winners declared in that first uh, year that they did it back in 2002. And honestly, not there weren't that many that were actually could be considered as games. A lot of them were just showing off what they could do or what the, S, the, the master system could do, should I say, um, and, and showing off their, their talent, I guess, um, showcasing what they, you know, what, what the potential was, uh, essentially. I think out of all of them, actually, I only found one game, and that was for the Game Gear, called uh, Zoopamup, uh, developed and made by a guy called Martin. So there weren't really any winners on that first time of doing the, the competition. And the next time that they ran it was um, four years later in 2006, where this was the winner, um, Kun Kun and Coco Kun, uh, which was made by Bok. So I'm going to have a super quick go on this. And that's quite clever. You can move the little orange guy to your difficulty setting. <laughs> so. Right, okay, so I've got a pick. Oh, I died. <laughs> Just sussed out what I needed to do, and I'm dead straight away. So you've got to pick these little things up here. The controls are a little finicky. Hopefully, I have another life. Yes, I do. So it looks like up is actually the jump button. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So you can. Right. Okay. So button two is actually like a hop and a skip almost. <laughs> right. Okay. So button one and two do that. Okay, I'm with you. <clears throat> right, so there we are. The winner of the 2006 coding comp. So we're here we have Pycross, which was the winner in 2007 by Maxim. <clears throat> I'm not gonna know what to do because I've not read any of the manuals. And I don't know how to play Pycross. <laughs> I like the clouds though. You must use the numbers somehow to work out some sort of pattern. But yeah, again, just goes to show what, he, what the Master System is capable of. So here we have the 2009 winner. So they missed out 2008 by the look of it. And this is Kun Kun and Coco Kun 2, a game by Bok.
Oh, and there we are. So yeah, another decent effort, 2009. Uh, I was unable to show you guys, unfortunately, the winner for 2011, which was a game called Snake, as I was having a couple of issues getting it to run. Um, but yeah, that was by a guy called Wiki Columbus. But this is Dark, this is the winner for 2012, by a dev called Zipper. Ah oh, yes, this is uh, this is quite a nice um, looking shmup. What a great looking game! So the dev Zipper has done a, a great job here. You can actually hold your button down to get the rapid fire, which is which is great. Fantastic. And you just use the but the one button to fire the other way. Fantastic. What a cracking looking game. So here in 2013, we have Gravity Beam Master Guided by Mr. D, the name of the dev. Reminds me of a couple of 2600 games that I've played. <laughs> Quite like it. Essentially, it's like a, a, ma a maze dungeon explorer as a spaceship. So here we have Boom, which was the winner of the 2014 coding comp made by Vingazal, Vingazale, Aichabang, Bankai, and Furry Tech, Fur Tech, sorry. <clears throat> and it looks like it's a two player game. Oh wow, it's like a, a Bomberman game. <laughs> Victory! Let's have another quick go. And it appears that the guy has <laughs> stuck to me. One more quick game. Let's see if we can get him. I got him! Ha <laughs> ha! What a cracking game. So here we have the winner of the 2015 
coding competition, Lander 2 by J. Mimu. Right, okay, so you've got to land your rocket. And I assume this is going to get progressively harder. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, that's going to be pretty tricky, but I get the gist. What a cracking looking game. So there we are. That was Lander 2, the winner of the 2015 coding comp. So this is Baraburu by uh, Kajisan, the winner of the 2016 coding competition. And if you're familiar with the Master System Challenge, you'll be very familiar with this game. Cracking looking game and very similar to um, what am I thinking? Uh, Bubble Bobble, of course. So here we have Astro Force, which was the 2017 winner. And this is by E. Ruiz, 00. zero. Cracking looking schmuck. Right, we've upgraded now. So here we have the 2018 winner, Galactic Revenge, again by E. Ruiz. Whoops, <laughs> ran right off the edge there. What a cracking looking game.
So here we have Platform Explorer, which was the 2019 winner. The developer is Steve Pro XNA. So this is going to get progressively more difficult, I guess. Ah, I died. <laughs> and again. There we are. Okay, so here we have the 2020 winner, Heroes Against Demons. You can actually pick uh, physicals of this one up uh, from the developer who's got his own shop over at twominds.fr. Uh, I think the developer's called Fabrice. But we know him better as uh, Ichi Ichigo Bankar Bankai. <laughs> Probably butchering that um, that username there. And I'm terrible at puzzles, but I will try to. Uh... There we go, cracking looking game. So here we've got the winner of the coding competition 2021, uh, Mini MSX, a game by E. Ruiz. <clears throat> and I think it's essentially three or four games that are packed into one. There we go. Here we have Green Beret, which again was uh, E. Ruiz entry into the 2022 competition, which of course was just last year. This was the winner, uh, a cracking port from uh, Russian Attack. Let's go prison camp. And quite similarly to um, Silver Valley, you can select your level, your starting level. It's quite a hard one, this. <clears throat> a score of 400. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough one. So there you have it, guys. All of the winners of the SMS Power coding competition from 2002.
well, 2006, right up until last year. If you enjoyed the video and you want to find out more about these fantastic uh, devs and uh, the games that they've created, then get yourself over to SMS Power, where you can find out a lot more about the process, the games themselves, and for most of them, you can download the ROMs quite freely and play the games yourselves. Bear in mind that I didn't cover any of the hacks or ROM hacks in this video. I just chose to focus on the coding competition. But there are some fantastic ROM hacks that are out there as well, using all sorts of clever dev kits like Kid Ed, that sort of thing. So do go and check those out as well when you get chance. If I get enough interest in this video, then I may potentially cover that in a separate video. Just lastly, my buddy Dudley of Yesterzine is going to be releasing a video in the next couple of days, which is going to focus on all of the entries for this year's competition. Again, you can head over to SMS Power to vote and uh, also download all of the ROMs for this year. Give them a try uh, and whatnot uh, and, and from there. What I will do when Dudley's video is out, I will include a link in the description below as well as the coding competitions uh, list for over from SMS Power, so you can go and check out all of the um, information and, and, uh, and, and all of the games that I've covered in this list. Thanks ever so much, and I'll see you next time.